The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Hello everyone, welcome to the recent and hot sales course interview question series by CRS Info Solution. And uh, let's talk about today's interview question. So today's question for the interview is introduction to FX triggers in Salesforce. Sometimes they will be asking you a question like, let me know about FX trigger. Sometimes they will ask you, explain me what is the meaning of FX trigger, etc. So in this case, how you should answer this question or how you should handle this question. Let me tell you something about that. So how you can answer this question. So you can explain first of all like this. You can say that when in Salesforce by programming way, by using programming, we are doing some logic. Then at that time at the back end, we do it by Apex. So let's say this is the Apex code. So we have certain Apex code and this Apex code we want to call at particular moment, at particular situation, let's say, for example, record is created at that time or record is modified at that time, etc. Then that is possible by Apex trigger. So this code we can call at a particular situation and that is possible by Apex trigger. Now there are two types of triggers. One is like before trigger and uh, next is an after trigger. For example, before record gets entry into the database before that you want to perform some activity then at that time use before trigger but once record is inserted and entered into the database after that you want to perform some activity then you do the after trigger in fact here after trigger apart from that the triggers can perform different types of actions like the triggers can help us to work on different types of operations. So trigger can work in the situation when the record is inserted, when the record is updated, when the record is deleted, when you merge any record. At that time also it will work. When you undelete the record, at that time also it will work. So and along with that, also when you absurd any you perform absurd operation at that time also trigger can be called so these are the various situations where you can call a trigger and then after that decide which particular lines of code you want to execute and this kind of great level of control we get by trigger and uh, please note it is done by coding so generally when we are not able to achieve any solution by the options like workflow rules or for example lightning flows or for example process builder at that time if it is not working then you need to move for apex trigger and like this you need to work so this way you can explain the things in the interview and uh, let's meet now in the next video for next interview question till then do subscribe this channel for getting more such useful information for your career and interview thank you